Hi, I'm Holly Sizemore, Chief Mission Officer for Best Friends Animal Society, and this is BG, my foster kitty and co-host. Welcome to Saving America's Pets. At Best Friends Animal Society, our main goal is to end the killing of cats and dogs in U.S. shelters by the year 2025. We do that in close collaboration with shelters, animal welfare organizations, and community members who are all committed to saving more lives. Today, we're going to talk about community action teams and how you can get involved. In our last episode, we celebrated fostering and highlighted empty kennels and cages that we were seeing all across the U.S. Since then, we got a few more pictures. So congratulations to Claremont Animal Care Humane Society in Ohio, Kern County Animal Services in California, and Allen County SPCA in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So you might be wondering, what are all these shelter workers doing now that they're not having to care for animals in cages every day? Well, we know they're not sitting back and drinking iced tea and watching TV. They're still working very hard to save the lives of homeless pets and to support their community members. For instance, they're answering questions from foster homes, arranging for veterinary care, and marketing those animals for adoption, albeit virtually facilitating curbside adoptions. And they're still working very hard in the communities to help prevent animal homelessness in the first place. For instance, hotlines are being set up to troubleshoot the problems that people may be experiencing with their pets and to see if we can provide resources so that we can keep pets and families together. So what we're seeing is people stepped up to help their shelters and the shelters are stepping up to help the people in their communities. And that's what the work of Kenny Lamberti, Director of Grassroots Advocacy for Best Friends, is all about helping our communities. Welcome, so nice to have you here. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, Holly. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Tell us about the community action teams. What are they? Yeah, community action teams are kind of two pieces. There's a, a, a very small micro neighbor to neighbor block by block, block local action team that really just connects people one-to-one um, -one and to build a kind of local kind of group of pet loving people to help with our mission as part of a much larger national 2025 action team that now has almost 13,000 members across the country. Cool, that's great. Yeah. On the one-to-one, -one, give us an example. I, I heard something about kindness cards. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, community kindness cards was something that was really born from in the UK, this idea of viral kindness that we, some of our really big brains when our team tweaked and made it kind of specific to our mission. And it's a simple card that people could just check a box that both of what I can do to help and where I may need help that they can connect to leave on neighbor's porches, to leave in community libraries, in free places, especially during this time where we want to re respect the kind of um, physical distancing. It was a way to just connect people um, that really didn't exist before. And it's been really cool. Why are these kinds of action teams important? What are they doing to help in our communities? Yeah, I think, you know, it's for animal welfare, the burden of this, all this work has fallen too heavily on shelters and rescues for many, many years. And, you know, especially at Best Friends, mobilizing the public is one of our core kind of tent poles. And this was a way to really do that. And, and, and I think it kind of, of it like a domino effect. If one person connects to another person, connects to another person, and it builds upon itself. And it really builds these kind of armies of kindness and they can plug in to the mission, both at the local shelter and at the national level to amplify our messaging, to help us with kind of legislation and policy and get those kind of decision makers and influencers plugged into the mission to save animals. Can you give us some examples of what some of the action teams are doing? Yeah, the beauty of this work is that it's very, it's owned by the unique community. So for example, in a place like New Jersey, we have one woman by herself, the power of one, woman who collected over a thousand signatures oh. to um, help to help promote legislation to help community cats and the other end of that right see we get a big chair from your yeah cat, bg is, approves um, another woman in florida 
by herself, one woman who wasn't sure what to do, connected local neighbors, built to a thousand people in Florida that started collecting pet food. And now they have this massive food bank. The food bank got so big that they donated it to a local shelter. So I think it can work. It can do everything from legislation to help animals to a food bank and just an ability to connect people on something that we all share this kind of universal love for cats and dogs. And if someone's interested in joining an action team, do they have to come up with all the ideas on their own? What are some of the ways that people are helping people figure out how their action teams can be successful in their communities and how they can help their shelters in their communities? Yeah, that was a, um, that's a great question. And you can go to bestfriends.org slash action team, where we've built a community a grassroots advocacy toolkit, which is a really A to Z Bible, and it's made for everyday people. So if you know, you're sitting in your house and you're like, wow, I see all the suffering and, and how animals die in shelters, I want to help. Boom, you click into our, our toolkit, it shows you so many different things you do, how you can like, work legislatively, how you can work to become a volunteer, a foster or adopt, or to help with community cats, or you can just amplify the message by sitting home at your laptop, which during these kind of COVID crisis times is something everyone can do. So we really wanted to make it plug in place. So everyone from every walk of life, no matter how they want to get involved or what the capabilities are, they have a way, a pathway to help animals. That is fantastic. Thank you for providing that platform so that the public can get more involved and for all your hard work. I'm excited to see, so you said 10,000? Community oh, no, action we, team we, members? Yeah, we passed 10,000 a couple months ago. We're almost oh. <laughs> we're creeping up to 13,000 now. Um, and just in just seven months, that's 13,000 every day. Amazing people who, who love animals and want to spread kindness and they want to help. They raised their hand, said, how can I help? And we wanted to give them a way to help. We wanted to create something. And really, it's the first of its kind where no matter who you are, where you are, or how you want to help, we want to welcome you into the mission, welcome you into the Army, and we wanted to kind of give you a way to plug in. So it's 13,000 people across the country really just kind of joining together to save lives and help animals at the local level and at the national level. It's, it's really exciting. That's really powerful. Thank you, Kenny, for all your hard work, and take care. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you. Stay safe. Stay kind. Whether you have a few minutes or a few hours, we could use you on our 2025 action teams. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. And please remember to hit like and subscribe. And remember, together we can save them all.